Hello, I'm speaking to you today as an unprecedented time. Governments across the world are today taking measures and have been taking measures for several weeks which will affect in the short term the way we live, the way we behave and our interactions with each other. When I first heard about the coronavirus, I thought that it was more than nothing but a flu. In practice, for many of us, that will be the case. However, this is a virus which is discriminatory. It affects people that are older and it affects people with pre-existing health conditions. This means that although 80% of us will have relatively mild symptoms should we get the virus, 20% of us may have some more serious illnesses and take longer to recover. That's why I'm asking you all today to take extra precautions. Please follow the instructions that have been issued. Please follow the action plan that's been issued by the Executive Committee. And please, if you're older than 60 years old and or you have pre-existing medical conditions, we recommend you immediately self-isolate. This is even if you're living in a country that has not yet been badly affected by the spread of the virus. At For Expo, we are a company with great strengths. We have great people, we have great managers, and we have great colleagues. Today, many of you will be listening to this message from home. You'll be working remotely, probably with your family around. Others will be working on site, working in production facilities, in the mine, doing planning activities, and doing business critical activities. I ask that we all support those people that are today carrying out the activities to keep the business in a sound financial and operational condition. I would finally like to say a very warm thanks to all of you that are working today in the healthcare and health services. At For Expo, we extend our support to you and our thoughts, wishes and active help is with you. Thank you all very much and please ensure you follow the instructions and stay safe.